about 20 minutes until the sun's going to set, and dozens of volunteers are still out there looking for 13-year-old Madeline Soto. They've been out there all day in a wooded area near Hunters Creek in Orange County. Good evening. I'm John Brown. And I'm Luann Sorrell. Deputies have officially called off their search for the day. Fox 35's Caroline Coles is joining us live tonight. So, Caroline, the girl's family is just terrified that she could be in danger. Yeah, just like any family would be. They're nervous, they're scared, they're worried. They just are hoping and praying that they find her safe and most importantly, alive. I really don't think she would have ever done anything like that. So just to pick up and run away with no trace of anything. 50 hours and counting. That's how long it's been since 13 year old Madeline Soto was reported missing. On Wednesday, family, friends, and dozens of deputies searched several areas around Orange County. And still, no sign of the teenager. I'm trying to believe that she is still alive out there. Maddie was last seen Monday morning after being dropped off near her school by her mother's boyfriend. But after drop off, Maddie never made it to school. School. Maddie's mother telling us surveillance video shows Maddie hanging out in a church parking lot on Monday morning after being dropped off for school, but she never made it inside. I don't know if, if she's somewhere safe that I have high doubts. Why do you say that? Just because of the world we live in right now, everything's really crazy. Sheriff's deputies are using canines and a piece of Maddie's clothing to try to track her scent in the Hunter's Creek area. And just like the family, the Orange County Sheriff's Office is also concerned for Maddie's safety, especially after finding troubling messages on Maddie's phone. There is information on the phone uh, that indicated that she told people when she turned 13, which was on February 22nd, she actually wanted to go live in the woods. Sheriff Mina says they have collected video from where she went missing and will continue to extensively look for Maddie until they locate her. We're worried about where she is and what, I mean, God forbid, but what's happening to her, if anyone has her, if anything like that. We're, it's gotten to a point where we're hoping that she is with someone that she knows. Now, the family, of course, watched that press conference that we uh, saw earlier from Sheriff Mina, and they text me saying, look, we hear what, what the sheriff is saying, but we want to let it be known and clear that Maddie would never, never, ever run away. So that's what they're putting out there. And again, they're hoping and praying that she returns home safely. Reporting live here in Orlando, I'm Caroline Coles, Fox 35 News. Caroline, thank you for that update.